You're listening to The Money Hour with your host, Tina Mitchell, and co-host, Keelan Harvey, on Alternative Talk AM 1150. Now, back to the show with local mortgage experts, Tina Mitchell and Keelan Harvey. Welcome back to The Money Hour with your host, Tina Mitchell. And your co-host, Keelan Harvey. You're a local mortgage experts right here at 1150 AM KKNW, the Saturday, August 4 show. We bring into studio each week the best of the best experts in our local market on everything money. We're here to help you in today's economy. If you're hearing our show at a different time or day, you are listening to a rebroadcast. But to connect with the guests that we have on the show, please call the show at 1-855-411-50. Again, that's 1-855-411-50 or online at themoneyr.com. In studio, last guest for today is Joe Mason with Caring Transitions South Puget Sound downsizing and estate sales services. Joe, thank you for coming back in studio again. Thanks for having me. And a little bit about uh, Joe. Joe has gone on four years of experience as a certified relocation and transition specialist, retired after 31 years in the military. 27 of those were full-time for Washington Army National Guard. Uh, Joe, again, thank you for coming in and visiting us. Thanks for having me. So, Joe, it's been a while since you've been here with us in studio. What's new with Caring Transitions? Well, the long-awaited platform for our online auctions, CT Bids, was launched. We've talked about it several times, and they finally took the plunge. They got it going, and Jennifer Black in Seattle has been very successful using it. Um, what's great about the platform is a much easier interface for users. Uh, it's prettier to look at and easier to use, mm-hmm. and it's easier for um buyers and sellers to you. So it, it's a great, it's a great tool. Well, excited that, um, that that has launched and, you know, prettier to use. I think sometimes um, people don't really understand the importance of that because when you're looking at something and really interacting with it, um, if it's easy to look at, it's going to remove, you know, any emotional stress that you have attached to it if it's not, um, you know, if it's not pleasurable. So, uh, Joe, the the thought of downsizing can really be overwhelming and stressful for someone who's been in their home for many years. So how do you help with that transition process? Well, we start off with a free consultation where we sit down with the client and learn what their goals are, what their timeline is, what do they need done, and how can we help. And we really remove the stress by, you know, it's how, how to eat an elephant one bite at a time. We break the process down. We, we break it down to bite-sized chunks for them. And then we uh, lay out a plan for them. And it really, really helps. Speaking of a plan, you mentioned, Joe, that the first step is doing a, a space plan. Uh, is that required? It's not required, but we really encourage it. So part of the process, we'll come in and, and do a free consultation Somebody's been in their home for a long time and they're ready to get a smaller space. So not necessarily downsizing, maybe it's right sizing for them. So we'll offer to do that space plan for them. And the space plan is the first step. We'll figure out where they're going and we'll work backwards and we'll figure out what we'll, we'll build a diagram of the place they're going to and we'll measure each piece of furniture they'd like to take and we'll do a two scale drawing for them. And that really gives them a great deal of confidence in knowing that they're not going to take too much. They're not going to take too little. And um, it, it takes the stress out of the process. Yeah, and it kind of sounds like if, you know, if you think about it this way, if you're, um, if you're budgeting, you, you know, you have a better financial situation. If you're putting together a business plan for a company, you're going to have a better success. So it's the same thing. You're really putting together that budget or that, that plan and that goal to make sure that everything is going to fit where it needs to and that it is the correct plan. So I love that. So Joe, moving day is most most stressful day for many people. How does caring transitions take care of the stress or remove that stress from the entire process? Well, by having a good space plan put together, we come in the day before the move and we pack everything up for the client. So everything but what they need to be comfortable that night. And then we'll come in the following morning and we'll meet the movers that we've helped coordinate for. And then we'll make sure all of the right things get on the truck We'll meet them at the new residence, and we'll get things set up according to the space plan. What, what's great about it is when somebody walks in, you know, we'll have set everything up according to their space plan. But sometimes mm-hmm. a plan looks good on paper, but when they walk in, they want some adjustments made, and it's really not a problem. We'll make sure that everything's 
to their liking before we leave. One of the, a couple of things I'd like to say about how, how we put somebody's plan together is we, we do a lot of things like um, mirroring. Some of, some of our clients have some memory issues, so we want their new place to look as familiar as possible. Oh, so, nice. so if there's a particular painting hanging over a couch, we'll, we'll do the same thing in their new residence. If the curio cabinet is set up in the corner, what we'll do is we'll take it apart. We'll dust it off. That's often necessary. We'll clean everything up after having taken pictures of it, and then we'll put it back together in their new place so everything looks familiar. It makes it that much easier for them to uh, be relaxed and enjoy their new place. So it sounds like you, you really put a lot of love into, you know, what you're doing for your, your clients. Well, we know it's a very stressful time for them. So when, when they walk in, we ask them not to be there. It, it kind of gets crowded in uh, small spaces. And it's kind of like making sausage. It's not pretty to watch, but the end result is really great. Yeah. And, and so we'll take that space plan, we'll put the place together. And then when they walk in in the afternoon, we've unboxed all of their items. We've removed the boxes, the packing paper, the bubble wrap. Um, we're ready to hang pictures. We've made the bed. We've hooked up the electronics. And they are all set to enjoy their new space. You know, I actually moved recently, and I think moving is, if there was a hell, it would be moving eternally. Yeah, I was going to say, you're, like, you went, so you went like, on, we should have called Joe. Yeah, he's a scholar and a saint over here. I mean, <laughs> rock star, good Lord. It takes a village, you know. All of our clients aren't necessarily elderly, but that's our, our primary audience. Well, I'm not elderly, and I couldn't stand any minute of it. But so. having a two-year-old, or how old is uh, London? Two and a half, yeah. yeah. having a two-year, two-and-a-half-year-old and trying to, to move, that's a little bit uh, crazy. It's crazy, yeah. yeah. She's all over the you place. You need to really and... put a market out there, uh, Joe. There's a lot of that going on. Yeah, there's a big market for that, let me tell you. <laughs> so uh, let's talk about getting through all the pains of moving. Uh, you're in your new residence. What happens to all of, all the stuff people uh, got rid of? Well, if they didn't take it with them, um, we can assist shipping family heirlooms if that needs to be done, if their family's not around to pick those things up. Any property that's left, we can help liquidate that depending on what they have, the volume of the things and, and the quality and the quantity. So we can go in and do an assessment and make a recommendation on would they benefit from a physical estate sale or would our client do better with an online auction. Often an online auction, they'll get a better return because if they have a small collection of things, we're appealing to a national audience, not just who can get to their property on any given weekend for a sale. Yeah, it's a really great part of your service that you offer. You know, you you do the organization, the plan, uh, you call it the space plan, and then you do the actual move and you get everything all set up perfectly with all the all the uh, care, I love with the caring transitions, uh, needed for that. And then you're taking care of, of stuff and really advising them in the estate side, uh, sale side. So I, I love that. Uh, Joe, what are, uh, what are the advantages of using, out of everything I just said, on top of that, caring transitions versus trying to do this on your own? I mean, how bad can that look for somebody when they're trying to coordinate and take care of this of themselves? I think sometimes a family means well, they want to help, but many, many of the kids who are available to help or the parents think they're available to help, they've got lives, they've got families, they've got jobs and responsibilities, and, and this is a process, and uh, some families just don't have time, so it's great that we can be available to them and um, be ready to step up and take care of things. Yeah. Yeah, I know all my friends bailed on me when you asked them to move. Hey, yeah, oh, oh that yeah, day, no, sorry. oh, no, I'm busy. <laughs> what, can, what can I tell you? So I wish I would have hired you, Joe. That's all I'm saying. So uh, what should a family like myself uh, be looking for when hiring a company that do the services you guys do? It's great to look for a certified relocation and transition specialist. All owners of Caring Transitions have that certification. Also, we're licensed, bonded, insured. You want to make sure that uh, the people you're hiring aren't paid under the table. All our employees mm -hmm. are, are W-2 employees. You can ask for references, look for reviews online. And the great thing about our folks is uh, you know that everyone's undergone a background check every two years. So, Right. Yeah, and that's uh, critically important, um, uh, especially in your, your space when you're uh, in so intimately in someone's um, home and their belongings and everything. So, uh, Joe... Somebody's thinking about hiring uh, your company for uh, services. When when do they get in contact with you? Earlier is better. We can identify more options for people. So 
people who are in the habit of planning, that's fantastic. But many of the calls that we get, you know, death, divorce, they're, they're, somebody's fallen and there's a disability, they need help right away. Yeah. Uh, their, their circumstances are just what they are and they need help. And so we figure out what we can do for them. And if we can't help them, we know of other resources that we can direct them to if that's the case. So you're going to put a plan together way in advance so that it's set up when that time comes. That could be an option as well. That's the best option. Yes. But that's not always uh, of course, always going to happen. Yeah. Life, life just has a way of working things out. So what about the free consultation itself? How long does that take? Well, we plan for an hour. Um, sometimes it takes less. Sometimes if there are, uh, somebody's got war stories to exchange, it takes a little bit longer. <laughs> but uh, we kind of shoot for an hour. And, and we can make a good assessment and a recommendation in that time. Yeah. So, Joe, when you're assisting a family with moving to an adult uh, community center or a, in that type of living situation, how are things different in that process? There are many times, more often than not, people are downsizing. And so we have to work with them through that process to take the things that are most important. Sometimes when people are, are just moving, sometimes they're moving to a space equal size, and then it's just not as much work. So it, it's really the smaller space that they're moving to, the more work they need or help they need to figure out what's going to fit, what's important to them, and how are they going to make it work. Wonderful. Joe, thank you again for uh, joining us back in studio. Thank you. This is your host, Tina Mitchell. And co-host, Keelan Harvey. Signing off for the day. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday and Sunday. Have a great weekend. We'll see you here or be here next weekend, same time, same place, right here at 1150 AM, KKNW.